How many sperm are typically found in pre-cum? Hello, everyone. In today's video, we're going to address a commonly asked question in the realm of reproductive health. We're going to talk about pre-cum, more formally known as pre-ejaculate, and the quantity of sperm it typically contains. This is an essential topic for everyone to understand, especially if you're relying on the withdrawal method, or pulling out, for contraception. What exactly is pre-cum? First, let's clarify what we're talking about. Pre-cum is a clear, lubricating fluid that is produced by the cowper's glands and released from the penis before ejaculation. It's also known as pre-ejaculate. The primary purpose of this fluid is to neutralize the acidic environment in the urethra and to provide lubrication during sexual intercourse. Does pre-cum contain sperm? Now, on to the big question. Does pre-cum contain sperm? The answer to this is somewhat complex. While pre-cum itself does not contain sperm, it is possible for sperm to be present in the pre-cum. This is because sperm left in the urethra, from a previous ejaculation, can be picked up by the pre-cum as it passes through. In simple terms, pre-cum can act like a vehicle for any remaining sperm in the urethra. Therefore, the sperm found in pre-cum is not produced by the pre-cum itself, but rather carried along with it. How many sperm are typically found in pre-cum? So, how many sperm are typically found in pre-cum? The truth is, it varies greatly, and in many cases, pre-cum may contain no sperm at all. However, if there is sperm present, the numbers are generally significantly lower than in a full ejaculation. While an ejaculation can contain up to several hundred million sperm, a study in human fertility found that among men with sperm in their pre-ejaculate, the average count was approximately 3.2 million sperm per milliliter. That might sound like a lot, but when compared to the typical ejaculation, it's much less. In conclusion, while pre-cum may sometimes carry sperm, the quantity is typically far lower than that found in a full ejaculation. However, it's crucial to note that it only takes one sperm to potentially cause a pregnancy, so relying on the withdrawal method for contraception is risky and far from foolproof. We hope this video has been insightful and informative. Remember, it's always important to stay educated and informed about all aspects of your reproductive health. Thanks for tuning in.